On the internet we have now many possibilities to buy a very simple oscilloscope, waste digital circuits etc etc. But this is the old school way to make an oscilloscope. Here we have the cathode ray tube and very important to tell, here is the high voltage generator here that makes that the cathode ray tube works. And here potentiometers that set all the exact values to the grids inside the uh, cathode ray tube. So this is of course not very easy to understand. I realize that. But this is the most basic circuit from an oscilloscope. I hope my camera holds it. I've used the DG106, very obsolete, made by Philips in the 1950s. But it shows how it all works. Here we have the filament and here we have the cathode. The filament heats the cathode, electrons are emitted and go through that tube to the screen. But of course they have to be focused. So here there is a focus grid and in electronic um, documents you often can hear that it is a grid, but in real it is not a grid, it is a kind of ring. Um, and here between these rings you get very specific potentials that makes that the electrons are focused. And these potentials are realized by uh, specific voltages and they are realized here with some potentiometers. Important to tell when you want to uh, operate an old school uh, oscilloscope tube the negative voltage here goes to um, to the screen to the anode. The reason is that when you connect the uh, positive output from the high voltage generator to the screen, all the plates here are on a high voltage. That means that it is very uh, cumbersome to add the voltages that you want to measure to the plates. I've made another video and I want to give the link to that other video in the text box. Anyway, you also have to, have to add static charges to the horizontal and the vertical plate. That's the reason why you find here these potentiometers. They give static charges to the horizontal and the vertical plates that make that you can move the dot on the screen to a certain position on that screen. Ok, um, well that was more or less all to tell. Important again. Three potentiometers. One uh, is a focus potentiometer, and um, that's here. And here another potentiometer that sets the brightness from the from the screen. When electrons here are going out of the cathode. And when you add here, um, electrons are negative, when you add here a somewhat negative voltage, they are repelled and that makes that the 
um, electros, electrons uh, don't leave the Weynard cylinder and are not visible as a dot on the screen. So here you have to have on the Weynard cylinder the most negative voltage. Anyway, when well you want to know more, buy my book. Schematics 3. I will pan over the circuit somewhat. Perhaps that will help. And here the very, very simple oscilloscope. Where I've used as a, a horizontal line generator a simple transformer. That means that we have a sine wave here that moves on the screen. Normally it is a, a sawtooth wave. But anyway, you can make uh, electro and electromagnetic um, uh, properties, phenomenon visible with such a um, sine wave used as horizontal line. 